Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakes B. Keeping it 100. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we're going to jump into a reaction. It's been so long since I've been excited to react to a certain group of people or artists. But since I've started down this rabbit hole, I just can't wait to react to the next one, man. But with so many different things going on and so many other requests and all that shit, it's hard for me to get at them as much as I want to because I do got to feature some other artists on this channel. But right now, we're going to react to your girls. XG, Vox number two, Nobody Love, Cheesa. Now, y'all do what y'all do, man. Alphas, y'all do what you do. Y'all turn up. Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all answer the questions. Y'all respectful. Y'all treat the reactors. Well, just me. I can't speak for everybody else, but Uncle Ray Vibe Reactions is one of my closest friends, and we do have talks off camera about these girls, and we share the same appreciation and love for y'all and how y'all turn up to support your artists. Man, I'm looking so forward to doing this. As always, I'm going to try and keep the talking and commentary and stuff like that to a minimal during the reaction. But when I do, it's essentially just me kind of thinking out loud as opposed to waiting until the end. So, like, I uh, will press pause. And when I point stuff out, yeah, I'm pointing it out for y'all, y'all. But it's like when you like think something in your head or you're daydreaming, you're thinking something, you're in, you're, you're, you're in thought. Instead of me doing it in my head, I press pause and talk out loud. Some of you mind it. Some of you don't mind it. For those that don't like it, feel free to fast forward. I always rewind it back a little bit when I do talk, but I will keep the majority of it until towards the end. That's when I do give my final analysis my breakdown and my interpretations of certain things and then um sometimes not always i like to give examples um with my expertise and experience within the music industry of how i come to certain conclusions and why certain things are a certain way or why it's good and why it stands out that being said xg vox to nobody love cheesa it is on you Blah! let's go Oh god, this is R&B cuz this sounds like a fucking boom bap beat to me if if ever. Man, I'm looking so forward to this, man. Beat selection. These girls always pick crazy instrumentals. Let's go. transition was so lit i was gonna say this is a little bit more like mj poppy than i think i've heard them and then it just went into that crazy drop switch transition and stylistically completely changed man again again i gotta point this out the the shot selection the scene is lit the lighting is perfect. The camera angles are perfect, man. The simplicity of it, but just the way that it's like popping and eye candy. Man, man, man. What the fuck? I want to go to a club and fucking party right now. Like, this is crazy lit, man. 
There's so many different vibes going on, man. Like, Like, the versatility in the verse to the chorus. Like, there's subtle, like, Brandy, Monica, Blue Cantrell vibes. But then there's also that Dua Lipa, Camila Cabello vibe. And it's just... But then you got a little bit of that 80s fucking R&B vibe. Like, this is touching multiple genres and this is touching like tri eras it's touching the 80s the 90s and new age like when it comes to like diversity like you can't get any more diverse than this because it has that 80s r&b vibe that 90s r&b vibe and then it's got that new age r&b hip-hop vibe so this is fucking bananas <laughs> And I've never heard this before. And if this is a cover, I've never heard the, or I don't remember the original, but it's so catchy that I'm singing along to the fucking chorus word for word with no captions on. With no captions on. That tells you that it's a smash hit and it's, made for radio ain't nobody love like you do ain't nobody love ain't nobody love like you do ain't nobody love ain't nobody love like you do yeah can't we stop how do you baby hear me out i want you here now try my best to fight me i hate you but You know what was in my head right now? What was going through my head right now is that it has every vocal element you need, but there's been no high. And then seconds later, she hits you with the note that I wasn't expecting but wanted to appear. bring it back man the bridge part is just the breakdown is just fucking this is so good i only swear when i'm excited in reactions if i'm not excited and i don't swear it means i like it but it's not over the top but this is like <clears throat> Fuck. 
and you know it's good <laughs> when you want to rewind it and do it all over again and it, you don't want it to be over there you have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages that was Chisa of xg vox number two nobody love there is so much that I want to say right now that I didn't in the reaction. I know I said a lot during the reaction, and I do apologize again, but it's just essentially me speaking out loud, and I'd rather speak out loud than hold it in. I was always taught by my parents. It's better to say it than not say it at all. Um, speak now or forever hold your peace. Shut up. Um, I'm not one who gravitates to pop. I never have been, and I never will be. I'm a rapper, and like I don't listen to like radio commercial bullshit um but that doesn't mean that i can't appreciate certain things for what it is pick out the talent from within it and understand it and as i said in the reaction there's so many key elements here in the production as well as what she does vocally chisa does vocally um but production wise like it also like there's there's so many things kind of going on like the new age vibe it's got that slight Ferelli timbo vibe that slight missy vibe like certain elements not everywhere um and it doesn't have to like again it doesn't have to be your number one go-to style of music to appreciate and i'm just saying it flat out like if you don't, if you're not a fan of this you're a fan of XG. This probably ain't the channel for you because there's going to be a lot more XG all over this channel. I'm just letting y'all know that now. But you made it this far. So, like, who the fuck's going to make it this far and not be a fan? And I'm getting to know the production value of the group. And, again, like, my fan, like, I say it a lot thinking that y'all know and y'all know my background and stuff like that. My family back home, another element that you guys don't know, have the largest multimedia company in Ontario, Canada, called Gladstone, G-L-A-D-S-T-O-N-E, media.ca. Um, everything from set design, music video design, music video production, um, working with everybody from Pharrell, Timberlake, Sean Paul, uh, Beyonce, Katy Perry, just to name a few. I'm not trying to name drop or anything like that. So when I talk about sets, set design, camera angles, visuals, I understand what I'm talking about because I've worked firsthand in the set design, in the art department, um, giving my creative um, voice towards the production value that goes into whether it's stage design for concerts, whether it's stage design for music videos. So I understand how that plays a massive key element in the final product and keeping viewer attention throughout the entire thing. The more visually pleasing something is, the better it is. And then with the lighting and the set and, and all that stuff, the camera angles and shit like that. But like when I noticed from the very first video that I did reacting to these girls, I pointed that out. And that's just because I have X amount of years within the industry across multiple different places in the industry, from an artist to a record label owner, to an artist manager, to working with Gladstone Media and stuff like that, that I get it and I understand it and I'm able to break it down and simplify things a lot better than a lot of other people are. And a lot of these fucking phony reactors, because there's too many of them that are just there for the viewership, there for the sub, and they don't give a fuck about who they're reacting to. And they give their analysis and opinions based off of opinion, not based off of actual fucking knowledge or fact and be able to break something down on why it's good or how it's good. But vocally, vocally, what this young lady just did was crazy. Um, the highs, the lows, the mids, the runs. And again, when you have those beat breakdowns, that's and you have the bridge parts, traditionally that's the time for the artist to shine and display and show them what they can do. Because it's off time a little bit. There's no beat. It's like the metronome sort of stops. So that's your time. Like if you're going to make a mistake, essentially that's where it is. And this lady just shone right through from beginning to end. I'm such a fan of these young ladies and just amazed at 
the high level professionals that they are at such a young age so early on in their career from being so young like they show things within what they're doing and everything that they do in their fucking teens that people that are in their 30s that have 20 years experience in the industry just can't pick up and can't seem to do so then you got to give your hat take your hat off and shout out the people behind the scenes that are helping them understand these things to get there youtube y'all already know what it is at this point man y'all know who i do over here if i keep it 100 i keep it absolutely 100 percent but y'all if you're new to the channel please smash that subscribe button click that post notification bell make sure to like share and comment down below hit me up in the comments let me know songs artists things you want me to react to i got you i will put it on the list i say it all the time because it's honestly true everything we react to on this channel is what you guys requested so keep on requesting it and we'll keep on reacting to your request as always in the description is the link to what we're reacting to you made it this far i'm not going to ask you if you like it click that link subscribe over to xg's channel even if you are already subscribed to xg's channel let them know in the comments that shakes p told y'all to comment in their comments put light to the reaction appreciate y'all as always man hit me up let me know what you guys want me to react to i read every comment alphas y'all already know that like i like comment pretty much every single thing that y'all put forward and put through on this channel you gotta understand how hard that is when i have over 2,000 videos on this channel and just imagine how many comments come through on this platform every single day so i appreciate y'all that's my way of showing love and appreciating you guys right back so let me know what y'all want me to react to even if it's not something xg or you're here for the music not necessarily knowing xg but now getting turned on to xg let me know what y'all want me to react to it doesn't even have to be music related it's your boy shakespeare keeping it 100 and i'm out peace